Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm here at the Ulrich Museum of Art, and we are going to be art looking and art making today. So we're gonna be looking at a work of art, and then we're gonna make our own work of art, kind of related to what we looked at. So let's get started. This artwork is by John Walter Kearney. It's called Grandfather's Horse. And this artwork is actually made out of recycled car parts. So the artist kind of took apart different cars, went to junkyards, collected some old car parts, and squished them together to make a horse. And I think that that's kind of funny because before cars, we all used horses to get around. In fact, we still use horses to measure how fast a car is, right? Have you ever heard of horsepower in a car? So he's kind of playing with travel there. And this is called grandfather's horse. So it must be modeled after a real horse that his grandfather had. Do you think the real life horse looked like this? Probably not, probably didn't look like metal, right? But maybe it had the same shape. And it's a pretty standard horse shape. So who knows how close to his grandfather's horse it is. And how does this horse look to you? Does it look strong, proud, gentle, uneasy? How does this horse look to you? And what would you name this horse? He calls it grandfather's horse. We don't know what his grandfather called it. So maybe we could name it. And how does this artwork make you feel? It's a strange horse, right? Does it, does it look cool? Do you think it's really cool? It makes you happy? Or maybe you're confused. You're like, this doesn't look like a normal horse. And this horse is a sculpture. So there's paintings and prints that are two-dimensional that are just on a flat surface, right? And then there's also sculptures that are three-dimensional we could walk all the way around this outside and see every single side of this because it's three dimensional. So what we're gonna do next is make a three dimensional horse. Hello again. So today we are gonna be making a three dimensional horse. A three dimensional means that it's not flat on paper, it stands up, it has space. So to make our horse, we're gonna need two pieces of paper with this template printed on it. And I'll show you why we need two in a moment. I'm gonna need a toilet paper roll, some scissors, glue, liquid glue is gonna be a little easier for this, and some yarn. So you'll want to cut out one head and two of each leg. So this is the back leg and this is the front leg. So I've already done that. So here's my horse's head and the legs. Now, to cut that little piece in the middle, what we're gonna do is fold the horse's head in half like this. And then we can cut that shape along the fold. I'm just going to cut kind of a triangular shape for its ear. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to glue the bottom of the horse's head onto the toilet paper roll. You want to fold it a bit. And your toilet paper roll is round and your paper is flat. It's going to be a little tough. I want to use a good amount of glue and fold it for a while so it dries. And also, I didn't mention this, but since your horse is white, if you want, you can use colors to decorate the horse. Maybe you want to put some spots on it before you start to glue it on. 
putting glue on that bottom edge there about this much. Gluing that other side on. Now for the legs, I'm gonna glue one here. I'm gonna hold it there and make sure it dries. Starts to dry. Also off. Now for our front leg. It's the one without the big lump to it. You're gonna want to kind of line it up with your last leg so that the legs are the same height so they'll stand. It's done. So I'm gonna kind of make sure it's the same. Okay, we do the same thing on the other side. So this leg will go here. And you're going to want to line it up and make sure it's the same height as your other legs. Do the same thing with the front. And then while that's drying, I'm going to get the yarn going. So I have some yarn. What I kind of like to do to make a bunch of yarn the same length at the same time is to kind of wrap it around my fingers. So then when I cut the loops, they'll all be the same size. So I just kind of hold on to it with my fingers. You can also just cut strips. That's fine too. But once you have enough yarn for the hair, you can cut those loops. Cut this loop. Now I'm going to glue it onto my horse. Get my horse's head. Put some glue on there. This part's going to be a little messy. I'm going to dip that yarn on there. And not all of it's going to stick right away. Only the yarn that's right against that glue is going to stick. And that's okay. And then you see some of it's coming up because it didn't have any glue. I'm going to add some glue on top of that bottom layer. And push it down again. And you're going to get some glue on your fingers. Like that. And if you think that that mane is too long, you can always give your horse a haircut too. So next I'm going to do the tail. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to make it as long this time. I'll just wrap it around my fingers like that. And I cut both ends of the loop. I'm going to glue this part onto the horse's back right here. Same thing, you're going to push your yarn into that blob of glue. And maybe not all of it's going to stick, but that's okay. And sometimes your finger gets sticky and it'll pull out pieces. You might want to switch fingers that are less sticky. I think all but one stuck, so I think that's good. Now, I might need to bend my legs a little bit around the body. And there we go. 